So what I want to do is take you through a few of the things that we do. Obviously, Jonathan came with us, and this is the, the big um, trailer that we drive around uh, advertising the great controversy. It brings in lots of smiles and lots of strange um, looks from people when we're driving it around in the van. But we're hoping to divert their minds to the book so they can read the book. We do know that um, in the great controversy, we're told that there's an impending conflict that's um, about to come upon us. And our only safeguard will be the scriptures. So the only safeguard that we will have in the end days is the Bible and the Bible alone to protect us. So, um, yeah, we're in Leicester. And I just want to show you a few faces. And so there's me and, me and David. Uh, Dave, uh, we had a great time. It was, it was quite cold. But, yes, there's our little stand. And we're giving out the books to anybody that wants to come and get them. We've got books in nearly every language that you can think, especially the Eastern European languages and things like that. Uh, so we had a good day. I just want to show you a few pictures. So this young gentleman uh, walking past, uh, homeless, and he just says to me, you know, what have you got for me? So as you know, as Jesus wants us to go out there and share this good news with others, um, I had a conversation with him. He took a, um, a great controversy and says that he will read this book on his journey. And, it, and I said to him, do you mind me taking a picture? He was like, no, great. So I took a photo of him and he left away happy. These, these two people approached me and Dave. There was a lady in a wheelchair and she was um, being led by another disabled young man. They gave us, they asked for some books. Uh, me and Dave gave them a whole bag of a health magazine, The Great Controversy, and I think we gave them Steps to Christ. But as they were leaving, they called, us, called Dave back and says, we've got something for you. And it was like a, it looked sort of like a silver coin. And we was like, we don't accept money for any of our books. They're all free. And she was like, no, take it, take it. And uh, we looked at it, and it was a little tiny silver coin with the Ten Commandments on it. So in re return for the books that we were giving them, she was actually giving us uh, a coin with the Ten Commandments on it. I have got a picture of it, which I'll show you shortly if we come across it. Um, another interesting story. This is why I say we should be doing the books. This gentleman, was a, um, he was just out of prison. And you had a chaplain, an ex-church chaplain, prison chaplain, that used to uh, minister in Liverpool's, some of the Liverpool's worst prisons. Um, and we had a great, it was like, um, it was just so funny because it was like, isn't that ironic? We've got the church chaplain, we've got the, the criminal that's just come out of prison, and we've got the ex-criminal that's handing the books out. So, yeah, we had, um, he said, it's brilliant what you're doing. He was encouraging us. He even prayed with us, the, the ex-church, the, ch the chaplain. And the young man, he wanted us, he wanted a book, but he said to me, you know, you could tell it, I could tell he was struggling to read. So The Great Contrary is quite a deep book. Um, so I said to him, you need something simple. Um, I'm going to give you The Great Contrary, but I want you to have a Steps to Christ. Because we need to bring them to Jesus first before we unpack all this knowledge and all this wisdom that we've got um, about the end times. And so I gave him The Steps to Christ and then he... He asked for me and the gentleman to sign his great controversy. He says, I want your names in there. I don't know why. But, um, and then the, the chaplain ended up saying to me and that young man, oh, I want a picture of all three of you at the, the bench. So he wanted a picture of us as well. Uh, so it was a brilliant time. What I will say is when we're out, we've got other members here. It's such an exciting time. You know, we want you to get involved in God's work. The people we meet, this was a cold day, and me, when me and Dave went first into the, the city, we actually looked around and thought, it's not going to be a great day. But we probably had one of our best days. Um, this is the coin that I was given, look. Um, and I actually placed it on top of my Bible where Jesus says, if you love me, keep my commandments. Um, so this little coin, you can carry it around. It's a really great little thing, and you can memorize the Ten Commandments, um, especially the one that we hold so dear to us the Sabbath day. Um, so yeah, lovely little thing. This young lady, she had just come from church on Sunday, um, a Sunday church, so she's not a Seventh-day Adventist. She, this is the benefit of going on Sundays, because on Sunday morning, you're normally meeting people going to their services within the city. So we have a great opportunity to um, converse with those that believe the things that we believe. So she said she just come back from church and she went, can I have some books? I, I know my Bible knowledge is very lacking. Can you give me something to help me 
with my Bible knowledge. And I said, so I've got one book. Um, we're going to give you the great controversy. This will open up things that you've never even thought of before in the Bible. So she went away very happy. Um, another, another happy customer. This um, young guy was a homeless guy. He was sitting outside McDonald's. Um, and to be honest, he's had a quite a rough life. He'd been evicted from his mother's home because she died. So he was a council tenant. He was giving me a little bit of a story saying, you know, it's, life's not fair. Um, I was on the, the council tenancy or something along them lines, but even though I was on the tenancy, because he, he should have actually got the flat when his mother died. But unfortunately, his mother died. They evicted him. They literally really didn't show much mercy on him and evicted him. And he was literally sitting outside McDonald's just um, basically begging for food. So we prayed for him. Me and Dave prayed for him. We gave him a Bible. Um, and we, we will be continuing to keep him in our prayers. But um, God wants to call all people in. Um, there's no special order of people or wealth or anything with Jesus. It's all free. So this young gentleman here, he was a Polish gentleman. Um, as you know, we've got the great controversy in Polish. We've got it in Ukraine. Uh, I think we've got it in a few of the Bulgarian, Latvian and um, Romanian. So obviously we have these books upright. So when the... The people are coming past, they're not just seeing English books, they might actually catch their attention with one of the actual books that we've got for their language. So I asked him if he wouldn't mind taking a picture. He said, yeah, great. Says, you can be our poster boy. And uh, this is, he took a nice picture. These two young ladies from, uh, I think it's Bulgaria, this book. This is a great controversy in Bulgarian. Uh, they just seen the book. Because obviously I have the books, I used to have them flat. But the foreign books, I have upright like that, and I have them all in a row. So I can try and, if you're a foreigner, you'll be able to see the book and come and get the book. Each one of these books is basically a translation of the Great Controversy. Um, this young man, this is a good story. So this is a gypsy. Um, I have actually got gypsy in my family. My sister's children are gypsies. Um, Travellers, basically, you would call them. And a lot of times is they, get a, they get a bad press, you know. They've not done that justice to their community a lot. But this young man came up to me and Dave, and he, he said, I am a Christian, and um, I feed the poor on a, I think it was a, wen a Wednesday night in Leicester City. And I, was, we, I got into a conversation with him. I goes, isn't it ironic? Because I know a lot of the traveling community, they're very, they, they love God. Um, you go into their little caravans and they've got shrines of Mary everywhere and they're always polishing them. You know, some of the gypsies that I used to hang around with, they had rosaries. They, when I used to go to my friend's caravans, they would be polishing them like the altars, like we were talking about in the Sabbath school lesson. And I says, isn't it ironic though? I says, you're a traveller, you, you know your Bible. He says, and I'm trying to convert them. I says, but they've got, they are, they have got an, a zeal and a knowledge of God, but the wrong knowledge. I says, you know, it's your job to get in there and give them that these are just idols. It's not these that are going to save them. Um, he was such a lovely young man. Um, he's invited me to go to his church one time on Sunday. Um, I might go down there and take a bag full of great controversies and um, reveal the truth to them as well. But uh, while me and Dave were sitting there, he came and brought us both a hot chocolate after that. Uh, we refused it. I said, I don't want to drink. He says, no, I'm going to get you one. It's cold. I want to give you a drink. So... God works, um, as we were saying, that people just come all over to help us. This young lady, as again, she just came up. What little books have you got for me to read so I can read them at night? And we gave this young girl, a, I think, a great controversy and a steps to Christ. So it's not just old that want the books. Um, the parents send the children over to get the books as well. Uh, so that's another great thing. These young men, these were studying in Leicester City um, University that came from, I think it was either Pakistan or somewhere close to there, and they just wanted Bibles. They just said, Give, can we have Bibles? I was like, yeah, you, you can take as many Bibles as you want. Um, we gave them each a Bible, uh, and look at the smiles. They were so happy to walk away with the Bible that day. And, you know, giving them God's Word is, is special. And, you know, for them to get th things free, uh, um, I'm sure they went away happy. This young man had a great thing to say. So he walked past, and he, he, he went past, then come back, and he said to me, can I have a Bible? I says, yeah. He says, I want the Bible, because the greatest gift a man can give his son is the Bible. 
I says, you know what, you can have one for your son and one for yourself. How about that? So we gave him a Bible and we gave them one each. Um, these young, this young couple, if you look at them, you tell me, do you believe they're Adventists? They're Seventh-day Adventists, this young couple. Uh, they worship in Leicester, obviously, they got their own church, but... Um, yeah, so we gave, they said that they haven't got... So um, this is the crazy thing. In, in Seventh-day Adventist churches, they don't have a lot of free great controversies to give people. You either have to buy them or get them from somewhere. So they were quite happy to come and take the books from us, and they took a health book, uh, the great controversy, and the new edition that we've had printed with the English flag on. Um, and they were very happy to receive that. Now, this young man, he was just filling around the town, the city, and he's seen the banner that we have, because in the Bible we know that Daniel chapter 2, Daniel was given an image, um, and we've got a big banner with the golden image on. And he was like looking at the image saying, what's all that about? He was, he was confused looking at it. He was only a young lad. And I took him through the chapter of Daniel 2, how God um, revealed a dream to the king Nebuchadnezzar. And Daniel, he'd used Daniel to interpret the dream for the king. And I told him that we were, we were on the verge of Christ's second coming. I got down to the verge, the, the ten toes, and he was like, I, need, I want this book, I want this book. I was like, you can have the book. I goes, read it, we're going to be praying for you. Um, and you can see the smile on his face. The smile was enough for me and Dave to say, you know what, we're going to stay another three hours. We're not going yet. <laughs> this guy, um, he is a regular attendee at the um, Every time we turn up, he always turns up to say hello. Um, he gives us a story about some ancient Bible that he bought. Um, he didn't realise that I've heard it about three times because I've been there about three times. <laughs> he must think I'm a new person when I'm standing there, but I'm not. Um, but yeah, so he, I gave him a Bible. I says, can you smile for the camera? He goes, I've got no teeth. I goes, don't worry about it, just do that. And that's what we got from him. He was quite happy to, to receive a Bible. This young lady, Seventh-day Adventist, um, she was just giving us like praise for the work we're doing um, and she just said can I have a book I said yeah you know I told her where we worship she'd not long arrived in Leicester and she was looking for someone else to, so she potentially could be looking to settle wherever um, this young man he, he bumped into us he says I'm not very much of a reader he says um, what have you got for me I went well I can give you this book on the disc because as you know we've got the audio great controversies so for those that you that don't want to read we've actually got the audio and sometimes what you read and what you hear sometimes you'll miss things that you've read when you'll hear it and when you read you might miss things that you so it's it's that both of them combined together are really good to try and actually understand the great controversy the war that we're in um, but other than that we see many um, many other people on that day and I couldn't get everybody's picture because I could only take the photos that consented and um, the people that said to me yes I don't mind taking a picture we had many many results and like I say, God's coming. Come and join us on the work. It's easy. It's, you just stand there and conversations happen. You might, have, you might be a face that someone else wants to approach. My face not be, might not be the face. Yeah? You don't have to have a lot of Bible knowledge. We can work together. That's what we do when we're there. We're out, we, we work together. So don't feel afraid that what am I going to do? It's quite a scary thing. It's actually not. It's really funny. We have a good laugh. God's with us. We prayed for a lot of people. So that's the report. My, my goal would be to pre pre uh, present the report in a better format next time. I just rushed this together because I, I thought, you know, I need to get these pictures in. But believe me, if I could have took more pictures, I probably would have had around 40 slide, 40 people and, and others that beyond that that we could have took. Um, so I want to encourage you, join us. If you're not with us, set yourself your own little group up. Get out there into the cities and give God's people that are hungry God's word because, you know, Jesus is coming and he wants us to, he says, go into the fields and bring in the harvest and that's what we're to do. Um, so that's the end. I hope you have a lovely Sabbath and that's the end of the report for today.